just be careful with this. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, yeah. Russell down, so Simmons. Yeah. Hey guys. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late. Yeah, that traffic. We right? don't have an echo. Yeah. It sounds so poetic at, at Zuccani Park when we speak and then people echo, but I have a mic instead. You can mic check it though. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I um, the senior member of Congress who, who uh, worked on this um, constitutional amendment and who is uh, gaining a lot of ground in Congress, but he, he wants to have a very strong bipartisan support for this legislation. And it's very simple because I, I mean, 90 percent, nine out of 10 Americans think that, con that, uh, that uh, there's too much control over our government by corporations of special interests. Do we agree? Yeah. yeah. We do like this in New York. Okay. And that's a fact. If nine out of 10 Americans believe that, and until now, until, if not for your courage, and if not for your endurance, then we probably wouldn't have this dialogue. But this dialogue is going to end well, despite what happened yesterday in New York, which, which made me uncomfortable, made me want to bring this amendment to you now. Because, um, you know, they're, they're, they're fighting so hard. Uh, the Occupy movement is under attack. And, and while we're under attack, the education process is, is, is still continues. But I want to start, I think that if we put framework to our work, and this is, again, only inspired by, it's not a statement from leadership or anything, it's inspired by the work that you do. The simple constitutional amendment that makes all the difference in the world. For instance, if we talk, and I think you, we all know this, if we talk about the prison industrial complex, and I had a big bout with them over the Rockefeller drug laws in New York, and we changed that law. But the biggest impediment between changing that law and, and we had people incarcerated for 20 years for little bits of drugs. The biggest impediment were the lobbyists. And we talk about jobs overseas, and I can't make a competitive business without going overseas, then the biggest impediment to, to bringing the jobs back home are the lobbyists. Yeah. Yeah. And we talk about health care. You can say small government, but the real big problem with us getting health care is the lobbyists. And it, I don't like the idea that you can go to war and someone can, and always lobbying is fine, discussion is fine. But I don't want a person to tell my president and my con congressional members that to go to war and give them all the good reasons to go to war and then go home and send a check. I just don't want the legal bribery. And I think all of us know that that is the core of our problem. Or certainly if it's not the core of our problem, it is a core of our solution. And so I have this constitutional amendment. It's very short. I want to read it. I had copies uh, that I'd hand out to the press, but it's just been amended again. <laughs> and it's because of the, the, uh, where we are in this movement that uh, it, we want the 9 out of 10 Americans to understand. We're trying to educate them on what it is that separates us from opportunity. And so this constitutional amendment, I'll read it. And uh, it's open for dialogue, but it's, it's pretty crystal clear and simple. All elections for presidents and members of the United States House of Representatives and the United States Senate shall be publicly financed. No political contributions shall be permitted to any federal candidate from any other source, including the candidate. No political expenditures shall be permitted in support of any federal candidate or in opposition to any federal candidate from any other source, including the candidate. Nothing in this section shall be construed to abridge the freedom of the press. The Congress shall, by statute, provide limitations on the amounts and timing of the expenditures of such public funds and provide criminal penalties for any violation of this section. The Congress shall have the power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. Finally, the article shall be inoperative unless it is ratified as an amendment to the Constitution by conventions in several states as provided by the Constitution. It's very simple. The idea is to give the power back to the people and take it away from the corporations. Yeah! yeah. That's the concrete demand right there. That is a concrete demand. Sorry? That is a concrete demand right there. This is a concrete demand, and even our education process, if we never say it as a, as a group, this is what Congress is going to go through, and we're going to watch our legislators like Hawks 
and we are going to change this country and give the power back to the people. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Russell, we'll take a few questions from the audience, and if you'd like to raise your hands, I'll...